Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So this I mentioned in one of my other videos um, that I like to keep a logbook whenever I go out fishing. So I used to just have a, a regular, um, whatever they call it, the, the composite notepads or just different things like that that I would write down the details of my fishing trips in. And recently I was on the internet looking around and I found this sweet little setup. So this is a, a logbook, it's by Restico. It's not cheap. This little guy right here was like 40 bucks. Um, but it is all leather. It looks like it's going to be pretty durable. Um, let's take a look at it though. So the dimensions on it are right at seven and three quarter inches by about three and three quarter, four inches. So uh, what, four by eight? So um, when we look at it, it's really nice. It's got this little leather clasp here, leather, leather holder. Right, so the inside log dates, so I can organize these. If I had a whole set of them, I could organize them and uh, keep track. Uh, reward given, right, if found, returned to. So reward, $5 million, I don't know. But it's a pretty cool book. I mean, it's got a bunch of these little decoration details on it, little scalloped edges or whatever you want to call that there. Um, the page has a nice texture to it. Um, but here's what the log looks like. So I have date or multiple dates, location, who I was fishing with, weather, the hatches that I noticed, um, any notes or sketches. I'm really big on landmarks. I like to put landmarks or trees next to where I was fishing or certain rocks or different things like that. I can note the time for my catch information, type of fish I caught, weight, size, all that stuff, the fly patterns I was using. And this is big enough, I could even sketch this out. Um, maybe some hackle drawings or different things like that. Uh, rod, reel, and water conditions. So, there's quite a few pages in here. This should last a while. Um, I could organize these by year. Uh, either way, new fishermen, old fishermen, whatever it is. This is something that if I was starting out new, it would improve my fishing game. Or if I'm a seasoned fisherman, this is still something that I could find very useful. And the coolest thing, too, is it looks durable enough to where um, I'll be able to hand this on, pass this down to my kids. And they could be like, oh, wow, look, Dad was fishing this, you know, 30, 40 years ago. And um, maybe they can have some similar luck with it. So there it is, my new fly fishing log. Again, I'm happy with it. It's really cool in my book. Um, this will be something I'll probably pick up, a, you know, maybe one of these a year and then just start cataloging them and, you know, passing these down. Um, all right, cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I will catch you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching. And one more thing, these are just so useful. Um, I fish so many different spots. You could even even have these for different locations. If you wanted one for Eastern, I'm, I'm in you know, um, Southern California, so I could have Eastern Sierra, Western Sierra, um, certain states, different things like that, cer certain bodies of water that I'm fishing. Uh, you can organize these a whole bunch of different ways and just use them as a reference. Each time you go out to that new place or that, that body of water um, that you haven't been to in a while, open it up, see what was successful the same time of the year, the last time that you were there, and uh, it should help you be you know, successful this time.